We've talked about some drills now for the on-deck circle. We've looked at the stance. We've talked about the importance of the stride and how to work on it. And we've talked a lot about the swing and the integral parts of it that are important to the hitting action. Now let's just look at a potpourri, if you want to call it, some miscellaneous drills. Some of these will fit back into some of the categories we may have already covered. Some of them are just kind of a catch-all, maybe a bonus, ever how you want to look at it. Let's just pick a few more drills that you've got to pick and choose from yourself to help develop better hitters. Come back with us once again to the practice field for a potpourri of proper hitting drills. A good drill to work on for all aspects of hitting is something that's not done as much as it used to be, and that's called hitting fungos, where somebody just pitches the ball up and hits it. You'll get inside pitches, you'll get outside pitches, you'll get pitches that are low, you'll get pitches that are high. You can learn a lot about bat control. You can do this either hitting to fielders, and then somebody gets some defensive skills worked on, or you can just pick the ball up yourself and hit it into a fence. Either one will work fine but just pitch, pitching the ball up and hitting it, fungoing the ball is a good way to practice hitting. Good all-purpose hitting drill is the just old simple ball toss. We've shown several different versions of ball toss drills, variations maybe off of the, the basic ball toss, but we haven't really shown the basic one yet, and that's what we'll look at here. We've got a hitter at the plate and a partner over to the side, and the coach may want to do this if you've got the younger kids. We're going to toss the ball up and then down. We do not want to toss the ball at her and make her hit off her heels falling away. We're going to try to toss the ball so it lands out right in front of the plate. Now we could also, as we learn to perfect our tosses, toss the ball where she has to hit inside or outside or down the middle. But right now we're going to try to toss the ball so it hangs right out in front of the plate and she'll drive it into the fence. Again, we're using a safety ball and you need to position the tosser so they're not in any kind of danger of being hit. Here's how it looks. Very good job by the hitter. Again, we toss the ball up so it floats and hangs there rather than at the hitter. That's a key part of the ball toss drill. We've done a lot of drills with tees and hoses and different kinds of bats and objects and things, but just swinging the bat, what we call dry swings, is a very good way to practice hitting. You can mentally anticipate pitches in certain parts of the strike zone. You can pretend it's a knee-high outside strike and swing there. You can pretend it's right down the gut, waist high. And just in your mind, imagine pitches and work on your swing. Again, taking your time to get good swings. You can also extend this drill by closing your eyes. Get into your stance, close your eyes, and feel what the swing is like. You'll find out if you're overstriding or your weight's going in the wrong place because you'll feel really off balance when you swing with your eyes closed. Dry swings and blind swings are a good way to practice hitting. A good game for developing a lot of the skills in hitting is the one we call pepper. You line up either two or three girls against the fence who work on their fielding while they toss the ball to the hitter who works on good back control. You'll notice the hitter chokes up and works on actually kind of punching the ball, driving the hands at the ball. It's a good all-purpose drill for various aspects of hitting. You can work on the back foot pivot. You can work on tracking the ball. You can work on driving the hands. You're just kind of a modified form of hitting. Now they're hitting into a fence so that the balls that are hit a little too hard or too high or whatever or to the side will not be, have to be chased. If the hitter misses the ball, the fielders have got some extra ones there. As we mentioned, having a lot of equipment again to do these drills, they've got some extra ones so you don't waste a lot of time. Again, this is a game or a drill that's been played for years and years, but kind of seems to be going out of style, but it's still one of the very best hitting drills around for practicing the various parts of hitting. One of the good drills to practice hitting is an extended version of pepper we call long pepper. 
We've now got the fielders backed up from the original version of Pepper, and we've got a pitcher in place in between the two at about the proper pitching distance. She's throwing regular pitches across the plate. We could set down a towel or a rubber base here to actually be the plate. It would help us somewhat. And she's pitching the ball, and the hitter's hitting it out to the other fielders. The hitter should attempt to drive the ball right back at the pitcher, actually between the fielders, working on the various parts of the hitting drill. Now, these girls are doing a very good job of this drill. Sometimes it's tough to do it, and sometimes they'll have problems with it. But we're using young kids to show you the fact that they do have skills they need to work on. You're not seeing perfectionists here. And the reason for drills is to help correct problems that hitters have. So this is very realistic. And a game called Long Pepper is a good way to get a lot of hitting in with several people at the same time. You may want to try this at your practices. Another good drill for practicing hitting skills, all parts of it actually, and you can work on the isolated parts or just the entire swing, is to hit a tire. Now a lot of people hit the tire head on, but then the bat won't drive through it. We've taken this tire and split it and put a white piece of tape on the tire. You actually could paint it or whatever. We've put a white piece of tape on there to simulate a ball. This young girl is driving into that white piece of tape, hitting it just like it's a ball on a tee like it's tape on a hose or whatever it might be, like a regular pitch. It's another way to practice hitting and get in all those proper repetitions of the swing that you need to get the proper execution of the swing in the game. Hitting tires is a good way to build up strength and to work on the parts of the swing.